in Rugby Union. All roads lead to the Green Yards tomorrow as the top two sides in Scottish club rugby do battle. It's also a Borders derby as Melrose meet Gala. All in all, a mouth-watering prospect, as Stuart Cameron reports. It's the most local of derbies tomorrow. Gala and Melrose are just three miles from each other and with only one point separating them in the Premiership, both know that a win will put them in pole position. Last season, the two met five times, four of them at Netherdale, and they were all close affairs. Who can forget the Scottish Cup semi-final won by Melrose, which went down to the wire, and the Border League final, which went Gala's way. Throw in Premiership games on the traditional Waverley Cup encounter, all of them helping to whet the appetite for the first game between the two this season. Melrose lost their unbeaten record last week, so are Gala going to face a backlash? Melrose's Graham Dodds. Well, we're certainly going to be uh, wanting to put a lot of wrongs uh, right on Saturday, whether it's Gala or anybody. You know, we've uh, we were hurt on Saturday night after that performance. So, you know, we let the team down, we let each other down. Um, so, we want to make it make it right on Saturday. One of the toughest competitors in the Gala Armoury is Gary Graham, who gave us his take on what a match against Melrose means to him. The hardest games I've played in. It's always hard. It doesn't matter if they're a league below or anything it's just everybody knows that it, everyone just lives so close together that you know each of the boys and it's just all, always against each other the derby match is always the toughest games that I've ever played in hopefully we'll get a big crowd down here you know it's a, a decent forecast for the weekend and it's a, it's a massive game it's the biggest game of our, our season certainly and there always is a little bit of uh, bragging rights to be had and uh, there'll be certainly no love lost on Saturday it's going to be a cracker for sure, but also in action are Hoyk, who could do with some points in the Premiership tomorrow. They face Stirling County at Mansfield Park. Selkirk have had a good run with three straight wins and will host unbeaten Muir in what is the game of the day in the National League, with Kelso at home to league leaders Watsonians looking to bounce back from their 51-0 drubbing last Saturday. Peebles are away at bigger. Stuart Cameron, ITV News.